C. Lindelof videos, polynomial division and placeholders. So let's actually try this. So we're going to start off by doing 7x cubed divided by, by x squared, which is 7x. Is that true? Everybody go with that? So let me just follow this through. 7x times x squared, in fact, is 7x cubed, isn't it? Here's where they kind of get us. We have 7x times 1. We want to put it, how many of you could see that we might, naturally, we want to put it here, wouldn't we? That is to say, in the next place over. Can you see why that's not right? Because this is the x squared's place, the place value here, like the ones, tenths, or hundreds place when we were in elementary school. This is the x squared's place. This is the x place. So we have to move this piece over. If it helps you, what you may do is put zero x squareds in here to hold that place, but you don't have to. And then do your subtraction. Remember, we're subtracting the whole thing. So that would give us, that would make this negative, this negative, and this negative also, wouldn't it? And that would, but look for a second. When we do that, we have 11x squareds minus 0x squareds. So can you see how we get 11x squareds down here? And here, what else falls? The 5? So far, so good? The next one, we would just get positive 11, wouldn't we? We'd have 11 times x squared is 11x squared. And 11 times 1 is positive 11. So it looks like we get remainder uh, negative 6. Is that true? And for our remainder, please remember, put a plus sign and then put the remainder over the x squared plus 1. x squared plus 1. All right? Something to keep in mind. Good job.